when we let our light to shine bright, God sends it into dark places. We may not even know the distance that our light will shine. If we send it far and if we send it wide, our job is to keep our eyes on him and trust him as we let him lead us. This was the assertion of the wife of the Archdeacon of Maitama Archdeaconry, Mrs. Timitayo Otoki, during our address at the Maitama Archdeaconry 2019 Annual Women Conference in Abuja. With the theme, Women Shine as Children of Light, Mwane Ogechiku has the details. It is the 80th Metama Ash Decree Models Union Women's Guild Conference held at St. Matthew's Anglican Church Metama Abuja with the theme Women Shine as Children of Light, taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. It becomes a good thing, and someone benefited out of it. Speaking as the guest preacher at the opening service of the conference, Reverend John Salas admonished the women to let their light shine wherever they found themselves, as he urged political leaders to embrace the light of Christ in order to be effective leaders. So God is simply saying by making you to be light, you are also now a source of blessing that people should receive blessings from you wherever you are. If a leader is not a carrier of this light, he cannot rule the people just. So every leader who has been saddled with the responsibility of leading people should become what? A true light. Because without it, he cannot lead the people in the path of right. The conference was attended by wives of archdeacons, their representatives, guests of honor, clergymen, and women from the host archdeaconry. I welcome you to this unique honor that Mrs. Temitaya Otoke urged the women to be light bearers so that the world will see God in them. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. The need for children of God to shine as lights or shine their lights. I'm using this medium to appeal to mothers to release daughters, their daughters, for both girls and sisters in meeting, so as to be part of building them up to become a total woman tomorrow. She also lamented over the poor state of the nation as she calls on women to also pray for the restoration of the giant of Africa. We thank God for your life and gentle spirit. Your systematic leadership style is amazing. We adore God for all he has enabled you to achieve during your tenure of leadership in the diocese and in the Church of Nigeria at large. Problems of insecurity in Nigeria have led to the following fear among citizens, loss of lives, loss of properties, discouragement of industrialization. I want to encourage us not to cease in praying for this country. Some of the guests also encourage Christian women to read books and to also raise their children in the ways of the Lord. Let us learn to read to improve ourselves and particularly patronize Christian bookshops for yourselves and for your children. Don't leave them to the mercy of Cartoons. Shine as lights wherever they are, through their behaviors, through evangelism, whatever it is they are doing should impact on people around them positively. <laughs> 